Today, I'm going to share with you the leading optic neuritis symptoms as well as some ideas on preventing this whole health problem. Now, before I get started, uh, down below, I am giving away a free video-based guide all about dietary supplements and alternative medicine. Now, all around you right now, it's all types of germs and viruses and bacteria that all want to come inside and do a bunch of harm. And there's only one thing that's stopping it. You know what that is? Yeah, it's your immune system. Now, with this immune system, instead of going after the bad guys, it got a little confused and started attacking the good guys and healthy tissues and healthy cells. When this happens, it's known as an autoimmune disease. And optic neuritis is this type of disease. Now, in your eye, you have something known as an optic nerve. And its job, its role, is uh, to kind of send information from the eyeball to the brain. Now with optic neuritis, this nerve beco becomes all inflamed and what this means is that uh, when something's inflamed, the body tries to heal an injury. It's the, uh, for example, if you sprain an ankle, you see how it gets all swollen, red, pain. Uh, this is all inflammation. And it's also the, uh, the main cause of pain when it comes to arthritis. Now, the bad news is with inflammation is that it can kind of damage a lot of healthy cells and tissues, tissues, and that's why it's not good. It's a big reason why. Uh, therefore, it's no surprise that one of the main symptoms of optic neuritis is pain. Okay, this pain could worsen with eye movement. Uh, next is going to, of course, going to be some vision loss, which will probably happen. And uh, some people lose uh, a lot of their vision, um, while others may not lose any of it. Uh, for some some examples of this could be like colors may appear less bright, a person could see flashing lights, and sadly in some cases um, permanent vision loss can take place and this is why preventing this whole health problem is a great great idea. You might be wondering well, how in the heck do I do that Kevin? Well, you know, the bad news is a lot of the smartest minds in the health field they're not exactly 100% sure what causes it. I'm sure there's some ideas floating around, um, but uh, one idea that uh, a lot of people do agree with is something known as multiple sclerosis, uh, where nerves become inflamed, have really been linked um, to this disease, optic neuritis. And according to Wikipedia, uh, more than 50% of people with multiple scler scleritis, or MS for short, uh, will get optic neuritis. So there's a big, big connection there. And two big, big causes of MS are a lack of vitamin D. Um, and an infection from a virus. So some great things you could do would be, of course, take a, like a multivitamin, a good quality one to ensure you're getting that vitamin D, which is so important. So many people are lacking it um, because you get it from sunlight. And <laughs> thanks to technology, a lot more people are spending time indoors. Uh, when it comes to the viruses, there's tons of great ideas to fight them off. And one area that a lot of people don't really, uh, they don't really take advantage of is with herbal medicine. Uh, of course, some other ideas that can help would be something like antioxidants, uh, consuming lots of those, drinking green tea, lots of coffee, which I love, and anything that helps with the nervous system. Okay. Now, if you want to get some more ideas when, when it comes to you know, supplements and herbs to do great, great stuff for yourself, like I mentioned, I, I, do, uh, I do highly encourage you to check out this free video guide I created all about this topic. It can give you some great ideas on how, what to look for when you choose when, when shopping for these products. It could simplify herbs a lot more and give you some really killer ideas when it comes to alternative medicine. Um, the best part about it is it's completely free. So why not, right? If you can learn more about it, just click, click on the link below this video that I made for you. And uh, I really appreciate your time. If you have any more thoughts about optic neuritis and some ideas on preventing or defeating it, please share. I would like to learn about that. And as always, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up because that would mean a lot to me. Have a nice day. Bye.